Before we jump into the declaration, understanding what is significant. Molecule gas pedals are the Enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN. It is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets in the world's biggest and most powerful atom smasher. It addresses the zenith of human logical accomplishment. In fact, it's so powerful that it can reproduce the very states of the universe's introduction to the world. However, could this machine, intended to open the mystery of the universe, hold the key to something undeniably more inauspicious? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most esteemed research associations, with 23 member states and great many researchers. It fills in as a center for collaboration and advancement. The LHC is CERN's lead project, but it's simply one piece of a tremendous organization of gas pedals and investigations. Envision a course not so much for vehicles or ponies, but rather for subatomic particles in a race against existence itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on a crash course that impersonates the energy of the universe at the hour of the Big Bang. These impacts create temperatures multiple times hotter than the center of the sun. Great many magnets guide the protons on their excursion, while complex cooling frameworks keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The radiates inside the LHC are made to impact at four areas around the gas pedal ring, corresponding to the places of four molecule finders, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills a novel purpose, investigating various parts of particle physics. Together, they go about as titanic cameras, catching depictions of these impacts. Researchers then filter through the garbage, searching for indications of the slippery Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God particle, and different peculiarities that offer signs to the universe's essential building blocks. By considering the microcosm, we gain insights into the cosmos. Yet, with each answer comes a new inquiry, and with each discovery, a new test. The LHC isn't simply a logical instrument. It's a confirmation of human interest and advancement. It encapsulates our steady quest for information and our longing to comprehend the key forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the limits of what we know, we must also consider the moral and existential questions that arise. What are the dangers of testing the unknown? Could our journey for understanding inadvertently open powers we have no control over? In the sacred halls of CERN, where the limits of human comprehension are continually pushed, a discovery has arisen that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most prepared researchers. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a voice of authority in the realm of particle physics, has recently made a declaration that has left the world both intrigued and apprehensive. Cox's words reverberate with tormenting clarity. The objective of CERN's huge Hadron Collider is to reproduce a small Big Bang. Yes. You heard that right, a smaller-than-expected version of the very event that brought forth our universe. The physicist also explained the implications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's remarkable potential for making new discoveries. This includes its capacity to unlock the mysteries of the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter, a secretive substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Envision holding the force of creation in your grasp, the ability to invoke the very essence of the universe. It's an enticing possibility, but one full of risk. The small-scale Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a substantial reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all replicate the conditions of the universe's origin. It's like standing at the very beginning, witnessing the birth of existence itself. Yet with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms. What if something goes wrong? In fact, something went frightfully wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky encountered a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a breakdown caused his head to come into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a power that defies appreciation, passed through his skull entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Borsky's experience was powerful. He saw a streak brighter than 1,000 suns but had no worries. The beam's path left a trail of annihilation, burning tissue and bone. Yet he remained conscious and even walked to the facility for treatment. The result was both alarming and intriguing. 
The beam's path caused limited tissue death, leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet, amazingly, Borsky's intellectual abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This occurrence isn't simply an individual misfortune. It serves as a wake-up call that highlights the enormous power and potential risk of particle accelerators. The dangers of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unanticipated reactions, the very fabric of reality being altered. These are not the stuff of science fiction, but real concerns voiced by some in the scientific community. One of the most disturbing and fascinating worries associated with the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a small black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are infinite vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could create such a phenomenon, even on an infinitesimal scale, is shocking to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole ever grow wildly, swallowing the Earth from within? Researchers at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and dissipate almost instantaneously. The remote chance, however, has sparked discussions, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. It's important to understand how the LHC could potentially create a black hole. It has to do with the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy produced is so enormous that it distorts the very fabric of space-time. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a significant weight is dropped onto it. The fabric bends and warps, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create gloom so profound that anything close by would be brought into it. That is a complex analogy for what could occur in the LHC in the realm of quantum physical science, where the guidelines of the universe are both strange and wonderful. There exists a hypothesis that additional aspects might be concealed inside our world. If these aspects exist, the LHC's impacts could take advantage of them, making a gravitational channel that shapes a minute-dark opening. This confounding dance of particles has even gotten the consideration of some incredibly popular researchers, especially the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he cautioned of a situation where the Higgs boson could become shaky at exceptionally high energy levels. This instability could prompt a devastating vacuum rot, a grandiose occasion that wouldn't just obliterate the Earth, but the whole universe itself. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees moreover expressed his concerns about the tests conducted at CERN in his book on the future, Prospects for Humanity. He investigated the potential dangers related to atom smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words were not only preventative, but they were touched with a sense of existential fear. He discussed a most dire outcome imaginable, where a doom test could make a condition called vacuum instability. This shakiness could, in theory, trigger a phase change that would echo through the actual texture of space-time, resulting in a grandiose disaster that could immerse the whole universe. Rees's concerns were not restricted to hypothetical thoughts. He relegated a likelihood to these horrendous results, yet a low one. In any case, even a small change, he contended, ought to provide us opportunity to stop and think. The stakes are unfathomably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The researchers at CERN have determined the probabilities, run the simulations, and analyzed the speculations to contend for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the significance of responsible investigation, acknowledging there are widespread fears and concerns surrounding the activities of the LHC. He emphasized that there are thorough security measures in place, broad reviews and conventions, that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with extreme attention to detail. Cox consoled that the energies involved are well within what the Earth normally experiences, and the possibilities of making a stable black hole are cosmically low. Regardless of whether one were made, Scientists say it would be so small and so unstable that it would dissipate instantly, a phenomenon anticipated by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a transient moment of vast stunningness, a glimpse into the pit, and then gone. Some have gone further, speculating that the LHC's tests could open a doorway to another universe or aspect. This idea, however, to a great extent excused by the academic community, 
has caught the imagination of many and has become a subject of interest, dread, and even legends. What lies beyond our existence? Might we, at some point, accidentally release powers or elements that we don't understand? The thought of opening a doorway to hell has indeed even been sensationalized in different media, stoking the fire of uncertainty. But how did this thought come to be, and what's its significance in the context of scientific investigation? The concept of parallel aspects isn't new in physics. String theory, a main possibility for a unified theory of everything, posits that there might be more than the recognizable three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra aspects could be compactified or stowed away from our insight. However, they could, theoretically, be accessed or uncovered under extreme circumstances. Now, imagine the LHC as an inestimable key, opening doors that have been sealed since the beginning of recorded history. When protons crash at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in principle, create waves in the fabric of space-time, potentially uncovering hidden aspects. While the scientific community is largely skeptical of such sensational claims, the general concept of particle accelerators opening the mysteries of the universe has led to a wider public interest in the potential dangers and outcomes of such tests. In the end, the LHC stands as a powerful symbol of human curiosity and desire. It is a testament to the progress we have made in understanding the universe, but also a reminder of the perils that come with such knowledge. The universe might be vast, but the more we uncover about it, the more we realize how little we truly understand. The mission for knowledge is perhaps one of humanity's greatest achievements, but it is also fraught with uncertainty and risk. Only time will tell if we are ready for what we may reveal next. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is a wonder of modern science and technology, but it also opens the door to questions that challenge the very foundation of what we understand about the universe. The machine itself is an engineering masterpiece, spanning across a massive underground ring and featuring the most sophisticated and precise equipment ever built. It unites a global network of scientists and specialists who are driven by one goal, to answer some of the most significant questions about the universe. However, as researchers push the limits of human knowledge, they also face significant challenges, both theoretical and ethical. One of the key areas of study at the LHC is the search for understanding the forces that govern the universe. For centuries, scientists have tried to unlock the secrets of gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. The LHC provides a rare opportunity to study these forces under extreme conditions. The impact of particles at such high energies mirrors conditions that existed just minutes after the Big Bang when the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. This allows scientists to test the behavior of matter and energy in ways that were once thought to be impossible. But with the potential to make groundbreaking discoveries, the LHC also raises significant questions about the limits of scientific experimentation. The chance of finding new particles, such as supersymmetric particles or dark matter, could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. However, these discoveries could also have potentially negative side effects. There is a growing awareness among some physicists that the experiments being conducted at the LHC might uncover more than just the secrets of the universe. They might reveal new risks or forces that humanity is not yet prepared to handle. One of the most fascinating and disturbing ideas in this respect is the concept of a vacuum rot. This hypothesis suggests that under certain conditions, the energy produced by particle collisions at the LHC could cause a catastrophic change in the fabric of space-time, triggering a chain reaction that could alter the very nature of reality itself. While the probability of this happening is very low, the potential consequences are so severe that some have argued it is a risk that should be carefully considered. A vacuum rod event, if it were to happen, could cause the breakdown of the universe as we know it, potentially leading to the destruction of all matter and energy within our universe. Despite the speculative nature of these concerns, the LHC continues to be a focal point for scientific inquiry. The excitement surrounding the possibility of new discoveries often outweighs the precautionary voices. Every year, countless researchers work tirelessly at CERN, driven by a profound desire to uncover the fundamental truths that govern existence. However, as the LHC operates at the cutting edge of science, 
The ethical implications of such powerful investigations remain a subject of ongoing debate. Another area of concern is the potential for creating phenomena that we simply do not understand. The LHC has already demonstrated the ability to produce exotic particles, such as the Higgs boson, that were previously only theorized. However, this ability to create new forms of matter also raises the question of whether we could create particles or substances that could present unforeseen dangers. One might say the LHC is like a laboratory where nature's most powerful forces are unleashed in a controlled environment. Yet nature, as scientists have discovered time and again, is not always predictable. The potential for creating new types of matter or energy extends beyond the LHC. Advances in technology and our understanding of quantum mechanics might one day allow for the creation of entirely new materials or forms of energy. While this holds great promise, it also carries the risk of catastrophic failure. New technologies, while offering immense benefits, have the potential to upset the delicate balance of nature and create potentially negative side effects. Ultimately, the quest for knowledge is driven by humanity's insatiable curiosity and desire to understand the universe. The LHC represents a monumental leap forward in how we understand particle physics, but it also highlights the complex and unpredictable nature of scientific progress. As we continue to probe the deepest mysteries of existence, we must also be aware of the risks and consequences that accompany such exploration. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble endeavor, but it is one that requires careful consideration, responsibility, and respect for the unknown.